All right, MakerBot Replicator Mini. This is a great little 3D printer. Student got this thing working nicely. I'm just gonna run through how you create a part in Fusion 360 and get it to the MakerBot Replicator Mini. So we're over here in, uh, don't go yet. We're over here in Fusion 360. This is the part we're building right here. It's a little plastic part we just broke. So the part is drawn in Fusion 360. And then what do you do from there? You, so that was on the click on the make button then you have to select the part so you click on the part gives you that window and then from here we say so we go over to X so on file on mesh maker you go down to export just export it to the desktop if you would export it to the desktop make sure you name it but that's finding the file, so click on the desktop, and then click in the, yeah, there we go. So we'll call this clip 2.0, it's save. So now th this Fusion has been exported as a STL and saved on the desktop. We'll close that window, close Fusion, wait a sec. And then down at the bottom window there, we open up MakerBot Print, click on Add Model on the desktop, there it is. Clip 2.0, open it, and there it is. We actually have two on there. So there it is on the build window. Now that's on the build window, what do you do? Click on the print. Wait for it to idle. So we're waiting for it to warm up. As soon as it's warmed up, we'll go down here and hit print. Go ahead and hit print. And there it is, starting to print right there. And there it is. That's how that. That's how you create a file in Fusion 360. Get it to print on the MakerBot Replicator Mini. Take a little while for it to warm up.